And good afternoon. Prosecutors have rested their case in the trial of Kyle Rittenhouse. He is charged with shooting three men, killing two in the riots following the police shooting of Jacob Blake. The defense is now taking center stage. Our Stephanie Haynes has been following the trial. She joins us live with the very latest. Stephanie. Carol, the defense took over right after lunch, calling people to the witness stand who were out defending businesses with Rittenhouse that night. But before that, attorneys from both sides questioned the medical examiner, trying to figure out was Joseph Rosenbaum lunging or falling when he was fatally shot. Prosecutors showed the jury drone video they just got Friday. The video shows the shooting of Joseph Rosenbaum zoomed in and slowed down. Then prosecutors called medical examiner Dr. Doug Kelly to the stand. He testified Anthony Huber died from a gunshot wound to the chest and said Joseph Rosenbaum was shot four times. He believes first to the hip, then the hand. The last two shots, he believes, were a graze wound to the head and a fatal shot to the back, which he says happened when Rosenbaum bomb was horizontal or moving forward towards Rittenhouse in some way. But the defense and prosecution differ on why he would have been in that motion. The bullet goes in and across and down. That's correct. Okay. So once again, in the position of lunging would put you in a horizontal position, correct? It would. But they would be as he's in a horizontal position. Uh, perhaps falling after being struck in the hip. That's right. Defense attorneys asking the medical examiner if Rosenbaum could have grabbed the barrel of the gun and prosecutors asking if he could have been falling or swatting it away. Then the defense called its first witness, Nicholas Smith. He testified he used to work at Car Source, which is the business Rittenhouse says he was defending. Smith says one of the owners called him. He calls me in the morning of the 25th asking if I could provide assistance to watch over the building later in that night. This contradicts what the owner's son said on the stand last week when he testified they never asked anyone for help. It's still unclear if Rittenhouse was directly asked to guard the business, but Smith knew Rittenhouse's friend Dominic Black and wound up wearing some of Rittenhouse's own body armor. Smith says at some point Rittenhouse left the area they were guarding. He describes meeting up with him after the shootings. Uh, he repeats, uh, I just shot someone over and over and I believe at some point he did say he had to shoot someone. I tell him to walk outside and turn himself in. By the way, the judge says the charge against Rittenhouse for violating curfew has been dropped, essentially saying that a detective's testimony that it existed isn't enough evidence. Meantime, tomorrow the defense will pick it right back up where they left off today. No word on if or when Rittenhouse will testify. For now, live in Kenosha, Stephanie Haynes, TMJ4 News. Yeah, that is a big question. Stephanie, thank you very much. And coming up at 6, attorney Jonathan Lavoie from the law firm of Kim and Lavoie provides his expert analysis of the day's proceedings as well as testimony. And you can watch live coverage of Kyle Rittenhouse trial each day on our partners at Court TV. You'll find it over the air on channel 4.3.